turn my music up. Up some more. Up some more. Up a little bit more. the show woman wednesday the doug stewart show stewart media and entertainment the number is 404-382-0338 you can also email me at doug at the doug stewart show.com i meant to mention this in uh at the end of the entertainment report but i forgot to do it because i forget a lot of stuff i've taken a lot of hits to the head once again But I mentioned how today is the uh, start of Black History Month, um, and today is also National Freedom Day. Did y'all know that? Uh, National Freedom Day, always observed on February 1st, celebrates freedom from slavery. It also recognizes that America is a symbol of liberty. <laughs> uh, okay. It honors the signing by Abraham Lincoln of a joint house and Senate resolution that later became the 13th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, President Lincoln signed the amendment outlawing slavery on February 1st, 1865. It was not ratified by the states, however, until later on December 18th, 1865. Yeah, so they had to wait a whole damn year before they ratified the damn thing. Just go ahead and free our asses. How the hell you signed it on February 1st? But it doesn't go into into law until December 18th. And you're just trying to squeeze every little bad last little minute of work out of our ass you could get. It. 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. Uh, a couple little interesting stories, man, from the world of the NFL. Remember we talked about the great Jimmy Garoppolo the other day? <laughs> and I think somebody had mentioned a possibility. Oh, I know what it was. We were talking about the Cleveland Browns and, you know, their their lack of ability, their ineptitude in picking quarterbacks. Um, they've had all these quarterbacks that have turned out to be bust or they, you know, they didn't, they didn't work out for one reason or the other. And so it's kind of – you know, you need to be kind of cautious in picking a quarterback. And somebody mentioned they should trade for Garoppolo. Well, word on the street is that the Cleveland Browns are interested in trading for New England Patriots quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo. That's right. Um, depending on how their draft evaluation goes over the next five weeks or so, uh, so says Mary Kay Abbott of the Cleveland dot uh, com of Cleveland dot com. The Browns will evaluate North Carolina's Mitch Trubisky and Clemson's Deshaun Watson to determine whether they should be drafted first overall or at a later spot if the Browns decide to trade back. Cabot writes, "The Patriots are reportedly open to trading Garoppolo. Of course they are because they know that he's going to probably be a bus wherever he goes." Of course they are. Uh, they are open to trading Garoppolo, who is entering the final year of his rookie contract, and are demanding at least a first round, fourth Rick, fourth round, and fourth round pick in return. What? I'm not giving no first and fourth round pick for no Jimmy Garoppolo. The, the, the New England Patriots won a first and fourth round pick for Jimmy Garoppolo based off the fact that he came in and played good in two early games in his career? Man, Patriots can get out of here with that BS. Garoppolo went 2-0 and in the pair of starts this season, completing 42 of 59 passes for 496 yards uh, with four touchdowns and no interceptions. Now, Listen, I, okay, let me back up a little bit. Let me back up a little bit on this this story. 
I do understand the thinking and the reasoning for the Cleveland Browns wanting to get a guy that they think might have a lot of upside, especially with their history of picking a lot of bad quarterbacks that hadn't panned out. I get that. And then using their first pick on, I don't know, a defensive end or a tackle or somebody like that. I get that. But it's a backup quarterback from New England. Haven't we seen this movie before with Matt Castle? Haven't we seen this? You know, these cats play for a good team that has gone to the Super Bowl pretty much every other year for the last 15 years. Once again, most of which is by cheating. Okay? So you can't take what they did in one or two games. And Castle did it an entire season. And what did he turn out to be? Nothing. He he turned out to be nothing. I'll be damned if I let Bill Belichick and his cheating ass finagle me out of a first and a fourth round pick for Jimmy Garoppolo. F you. F you. I'm not giving up. That's crazy. And once again, this person is a writer for Cleveland.com. I I, I assume that's the newspaper associated with the local newspaper there in Cleveland. Um... So, yeah, I don't know, and this may not even happen, and it might just be pie in the sky and there's rumors and all of that stuff, but I thought it was very interesting that that allegedly there's someone that maybe is a beat writer for the team or whatever is saying that the Patriots want for Jimmy Garoppolo a first and a fourth round pick. Man, you can kiss my ass. Yeah, uh, whatever. Once again, once again, it might even be, you know, a lie. The whole story may be a lie. These are how rumors work, though. But yeah, I could see, I could see this type of conversation being had about trading Jimmy Garoppolo. Man, the Patriots love to sell uh, to get rid of that cat in the last year of his contract. And they're not going to pay that dude a bunch of money because he did good in two games. One last story from the NFL, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, and then we'll jump into to more chat in the chat room. Well, 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 listen to this. Seattle Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson doesn't often say a lot of controversial things regarding football or really anything else. Y'all know that. But like everyone else, Russell Wilson has an opinion on President Donald Trump. Wilson in a Facebook Live video as he got his hair cut (laughs) said he voted for Hillary Clinton but added that no matter who you voted for, people should be questioning Trump's actions as president. Oh, well, well. Here's a quote from uh, the great Russell Wilson. He says, thing is, getting uh, this thing is getting out of hand. It's only been, what, two weeks or even less than that, Wilson said. We have to attack the issue here and talking about Donald Trump. Um, it's already affecting people's hearts and souls and lives in such a negative way, in my opinion. He says, you go to LAX airport and there's people all over the place fighting for their lives and protesting and all of that. All the protests that have gone on through African-American communities and Muslim communities, too. If we're going to be a nation that says we're going to be equal, we have to be equal. What the hell? I didn't know Russell Wilson could even speak to social issues. Ball award to him on a damn Wednesday. (laughs) Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where did this guy come from? I'm looking in the chat room right now from Chucktown Frank. He said, that is not Russell Wilson. That sounds like Sierra. Wow, that does sound like Sierra, to be honest with you. That does sound like Sierra. Wow, hey, man, big ups to Russell Wilson. Now, you know when it gets Russell Wilson up in arms, when everything that the president's been doing in his first 10 days in office, when when, when everything he's been doing gets under Russell Wilson's skin, one of the most politically correct ninjas you ever see in your lifetime in sports, uh, you know that it's going bad. Ball award to Russell Wilson. Wow. 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 Um, Very shocking to hear from Russell Wilson. I mean, but that's how bad it's gotten. (laughs) 
that's how bad it's got because uh you know of everything that's going on over the last 10 days man it's really it's really really alarming it's really alarming this is donald trump last night do y'all realize that last night what that man had uh in that announcement of that uh of the new uh justice supreme court justice was in effect a reality show that was like a made for tv reality show <laughs> And somebody correct me if I'm wrong. That's not the that's not the normal protocol for announcing a new appointee on the on the Supreme Court, is it? Do they have like a made for TV type show where they keep it secret? You know, what what's the big like why does a president care about keeping his selection a secret like they did over the last couple of days? Like Donald Trump made this like a like like a big thing trying to get ratings. Like, like he has to understand and realize, man, he, this ain't no reality show. He's the president. <laughs> huh? Why, why was this thing conducted like it was some type of reality show last night, man? Maybe it's been done like that in the past. I just thought it was kind of odd over the last couple of days. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart show, how they made this big buildup and they kept it super secret and, you know, we're going to have this this uh, in prime time special. Uh, maybe it's been done like that in the past. I just don't remember it. From Sidney Jackson, Russell Wilson reminds me of that light-skinned dude, Jason Pitts, from the TV show The Game. Ah, ah, yeah. Jason Pitts played, um, what did he play? Did he play wide receiver or quarterback? Um, no, he played wide receiver. He was like an older wide receiver on The Game, the TV show. From the ghost of Deacon Dell. Uh, was he, his hairline lined up? I hope so, and said barbershop. Uh, man, Russell Wilson needs a tape, tape up in the worst way. And I've said that many, many times before. Like, I don't understand. Maybe where he grew up, they don't get lined up. They don't get tape, tape up. So I, I don't know. But that man needs the front of his head 